Oh my god. Um, yeah. This hair's falling out. Oh my god. Hello, beautiful. Today we're testing out the four most popular bleaches that you can buy at Sally's. They're also just the most popular bleaches we see used by people in Hair Just Reacts. And some of them have resulted in some catastrophic events. I'm putting these four lighteners to the test. Which one is best for your hair? Does price matter? And lastly, but most importantly, which one of these lighteners will lighten your hair the most? I wanna make sure if you're thinking about bleaching your hair, you are purchasing the right bleach and the best one you can get your hands on. Let's find out today on my game show. Which bleach is best? <laughs> Let's welcome in our contestants today. Who do we have? Anybody? Come on. Oh, I see somebody coming. I see, okay. We have a lightener by the brand Ion, and this is called Bright White Powder Lightener. Seven levels of lift. That's a lot of levels of lift. Do we need that many today? No, but we're gonna use it. This lightener retails for $22.99 at Sally's, and it is one pound of lightener. This lightener actually has coconut oil, chia oil, and sunflower oil built in. Wow, that's a lot of oils in a powder. I wonder if that will keep the hair feeling and looking healthy today. We'll find out later when we put it to the test. Thank you for coming today. You're almost up. Go get yourself prepared for the competition, okay? We'll see you later. Up next, we have Wella Color Charm. Welcome, Wella Color Charm, to the competition today. How do you feel? Great. This lightener retails for $22.99 and it is one pound. This also provides seven levels of lift. That's a whole lot of lifting power. This claims to have a protective oil system that helps lock in moisture as it lightens. That's pretty cool. Let's see if that protective oil system helps you in the competition today. Oh, who is that walking in? We have Quick Blue by L'Oreal. I'm shocked that this is the most expensive one. I thought it was the least expensive but the more you know. This is 20, this is 27.49 for one pound. This lightener also lifts up to seven levels. It claims to have a very smooth formula. The formula also claims to be dust free with a non drip consistency. I don't know what that means, but I'm interested to find out today in the competition. Oh, who's coming in? Oh, we have BW2, the classic. You're quite old for this competition, aren't you, BW2? You've been around for a while. Let's see if you can handle it with the new guys. This lightener retails for $21.19, and it is eight ounces of product. A little guy, but you pack a big punch, don't you? This claims to be an extra strength dusted lightener. Who the fuck wants dust in their lightener? I don't know. This claims to lighten the hair extremely extremely fast. Let's see just how fast you can lighten in today's competition. So those are our contestants for today. I'm very excited to welcome them to the game. Now you're probably wondering how I'll be scoring the contestants. They will be scored on the following categories. Overall user experience. This includes everything from mixing to the scent to how it applies. Anything and everything I can think of. Secondly, they'll be graded on hair quality post coloring. Did the hair feel good? Did the hair feel bad? You get the gist. Was there any breakage? Things like that. And lastly, they'll be graded on hair brightness post coloring. Because if you're gonna put bleach on your hair, you probably want it light. And you probably want it to lighten pretty fast. And you want those clear, sexy results. I'll be grading them one through 10, 10 being the best, and we'll see who wins the competition. And today's winner will go home with a million dollars and receive the title of the best bleach at Sally's Beauty Supply. Okay, before we get started mixing, just wanna tell you a few things. First of all, I'm following the mixing instructions on the back of each container, making sure to mix them according to the manufacturer's guidelines. I'm also lightening virgin hair and it is 100% human hair. I'll be using this Salon Care 30 volume with all of the lighteners. And the reason why I chose this one is because this is the one I see most often use with all of these bleach powders. So we're going with this. This is what people would do at home. If you disagree, sorry. And 30 volume, because I really want to see the lifting power of these lighteners, and I don't want to wait a thousand hours to see the results. Also, each section of the hair will process for one hour. I was going to do 45 minutes, but you'll see later why I decided not to. Just wasn't lightening enough, so I pushed it a little further. Had a little fun with it. So we did an hour. Up first, we have BW2. I really appreciated the container of BW2 because it wasn't wasting a bunch of plastic like 
some other brands. <laughs> we'll get into that later. There's not as much lightener as the other containers, but it's almost the same. We'll let that one slide, I guess. This is eight ounces versus the one pound of all the other containers. The weird thing about the mixing ratio is that there was no mixing ratio indicated on the back of the label. So you kind of just have to guess. It told you to make like a creamy consistency and scoop like six scoops, something weird like that. Like it really made no sense, but there was no mixing ratio. So I did one part powder to one and a half parts developer. And that is what I did for ones that didn't have a mixing ratio listed. First of all, immediately when I started to scoop this lightener. Oh my God, I could not breathe. Like I always say this, I know I'm a dramatic person, but I'm not being dramatic right now. Like it was so awful. <laughs> it was so incredibly dusty. I've never experienced a lightener this dusty before. I have definitely used this lightener way back in my day, but I have not used it recently. And um, that was the wildest experience of dust, like just everywhere, covering my whole house. I will say that consistency is very runny and a little bit difficult to mix together with the developer. I don't know what that was about. So I began applying the lightener. It felt normal. It was pretty easy to apply, but <laughs> oh my God, I almost fainted. My nostrils were burning. Like, I don't know what they put in this stuff, but like, again, I have not experienced that kind of scent with a lightener in the past 10 years of my life. Like that was crazy. I had to open the windows. I had to air out the room. I had to get a fan going. Like I was dying. I could hardly even finish the section. Like I really felt like I was getting high or something off of these fumes. It was crazy and done. That section is completely saturated. A ton of lightener has been applied to the hair and we're gonna set our timer for one hour. You're gonna see me set it for 45 minutes here, but I switched it to an hour, I swear. Up next, we have the most expensive lightener today, which is Quick Blue. I don't understand how this is the most expensive lightener. I thought this one and BW2 were gonna be the least expensive actually. I have been proved wrong. So first of all, people that make Quick Blue, you need to know not with the container. I mean, there was nothing. There was only one pound of lighter in this container and it could have fit five. We are just wasting so much plastic. It's because you probably wanna market it and make it look like you get more lightener than you're actually buying, but it just makes me sad for the planet. It's really a waste of plastic. So let's not do that anymore. Now, when I put the lighter in the bowl, it definitely had a bit of dust. It says it's a dust-free formula, but there was still a little bit of dust. When I'm mixing it, it was super clumpy and thick. Like I could not get rid of the clumps. Here's an up close of that. It was really kind of nasty. And uh, I haven't experienced a lightener that clumpy in a long time, um, probably since the last time I used Quick Blue. But I did notice that the lightener did not smell bad. It actually had a pretty pleasant scent of like perfume sort of scent going on. And um, it wasn't burning my nostrils. I don't know if that was because of, uh, the last round I completely burned my nostrils and I probably couldn't smell anything anymore, but I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that it smelled good. Obviously this formula was very blue when a Applying. It does have that toning property inside of it, which we'll see later if that's actually effective or not. And it was very, very thick when applying. Now we're moving on to Color Brilliance by Ion. Now this formula had zero dust, which I loved. Also, it smelled like Candy. It was so intoxicating. I loved the scent. It is another very blue based lightener, which is supposed to tone your hair as well as lighten at the same time. It was really easy to mix, super smooth, and very easy to apply. It went on that hair like butter. It felt so good. This was the only lightener that expanded a lot when it was processing. Like, look at this. Kind of crazy. I don't know what that was about. And lastly, we have Wella Color Charm. This one had literally zero dust, zero, zero, zero dust. It was a super fine powder. It was just very satisfying. It had a great scooper. It felt really nice. Very easy to mix, zero clumps, beautiful consistency. And when I applied, it went on very smoothly and was super easy to get on all the hair strands. Okay, so I let all those lighteners sit on for an hour. I rinsed them off. Then I shampooed each section twice and conditioned for the same amount of time. I did not put any product on the hair and I only use a round brush and a blow dryer to dry the hair. Are you ready to see the very interesting results that I found <laughs> that I was literally shocked by? So here's a reminder of what the hair looked like before. Beautiful, gorgeous, healthy, amazing. And here is her after. At first glance, you might 
think, oh, Brad, all the sections look great and all look the same. Hold on a second. We'll get into things in a moment. They're not all the same. It's actually pretty wild. <laughs> now, before I give the Lightner a score on our three categories, I'm gonna show you what the results are after the lightning process. So BW2, the interesting part is that the results are extremely even. Actually, it's the most even of all the lighteners, I'd say. However, it does feel dry and tangled, especially after I rinsed out the lightener. This was the only section that was like extremely rough and the other ones were really, really soft and smooth just after rinsing out the lightener and not even shampooing. So that was weird, but it still has a lot of shine. It's still very strong. I can pull on her hair and her hair's not falling out. Now we have quick blue. The results are a little bit less even. I don't know if you can exactly tell, but there are some really white spots in there and some dark spots. That might've been user error. I might've just not applied enough in some spots, but you saw the clips, it was quite saturated. So I'm not sure why it was uneven. Overall, it feels good. This one, when I rinsed off, was extremely soft and the hair is not falling out. It looks nice. It got a good amount of lift in there. Okay, we're getting onto the juicy stuff now. Wella Color Charm, the second most expensive one. So this one, um, I feel like has the most uneven results. Um, it was quite soft when rinsing out, but as you can see, there's like a lot of orange in there. There's really white spots in some places. It really just looks kind of off. Overall, it looks decent. It feels okay. It doesn't feel like extremely healthy or strong, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break off and snap off. And lastly, we have Ion Bright White. Before I even say anything. That's all. Oh my God. Um, yeah. This hair's falling out. Oh my god. Oh my god. The hair will not dry because it's so damaged. And um, if I go like this, it just comes right out. So needless to say, this one is very strong and um, it is overprocessed. That doesn't necessarily mean that the lightener is bad, but it definitely is strong. I got some uneven results. It's kind of weird that the top didn't fall off, except this part was just probably warm from all the other hair laying on top of it and it snapped off. Overall, it feels okay. It's pretty soft. I don't think there's anything major with the softness of the hair. So those are the results after the lightening process. Now let's give each lightener a grade and see how they did and find out who wins the million dollar reward. The million dollar award. <laughs> So just a reminder, we'll be grading the hair on these three categories. Let's start off with BW2. So overall user experience, I would give this one a definite one mm. out of 10. It was awful. I couldn't breathe. Next, we'll give it a grade on hair quality post coloring. I would say it was dry and rough, so I'll give it like a five. Mm. It wasn't like terrible, but it wasn't great. And lastly, hair brightness post coloring. I will give this one a five but it was the most even so maybe a six six we'll do a six which gives it a final score of 12. up next we have quick blue for our first category i'm gonna grade this one a four it really wasn't great our second category i'm gonna give this one an eight it felt pretty good post coloring and for our hair brightness i will grade this one a seven it's definitely not the brightest that brings this total score to a 19. up next we have wella color charm in our first category i'm gonna grade this one a 10 out of 10. It was beautiful. In our next category, I'm gonna grade this one a 7 out of 10. It didn't feel too great, it didn't feel too bad. And in our last category, I'm gonna grade this one a 9 out of 10. It lightened a lot. You just have to be careful of over-processing, but I do like that it gave me that pure white color in some spots where the most heat was. If you use some foils, it'll probably give you extremely clear, bright results, but Seriously, be careful. That brings its total score to a 26. Now for Ion Bright White. <laughs> they definitely said bright white and they meant it. Our first category, I'm gonna give this one a nine. It was pretty damn good. But I will say the scent wasn't like the best scent. 
ever. Hair quality post coloring, we'll give that a one. Absolutely tragic, the hair fell off. And our last category, hair brightness post coloring. I don't know if I should give this one a 10 or a one or something in between because the hair did fall off, but is that good? That it lightened a lot very quickly. I would say I'll give that one an eight. Um, I think it was good. It might be a little bit too powerful. I don't know. But with this one, you can probably process it for less time and get more lightning power. Our winner for today is Wella Color Charm. Congratulations, Wella. This is the one I always use in a pinch from Sally's, so I'm happy to know it's the best one. And the one I liked the least was BW2. I'm sorry, BW2, but it wasn't a great experience with you. It really wasn't. And then next we have Quick Blue, was my second to least favorite. And then up next we have have Ion Bright White, which the hair fell off. Woo! You win a million dollars! And you get bragging rights. Congratulations. I hope a lot more of you sell. Thank you for being on our game show and showing us what you got. Well, that was exhausting. A lot of testing, but very informative and very cool to see. I would have not guessed the hair would fall off after one hour of lightning. The results are all wild to me on various levels. And I hope you guys um, now are more informed of what lightener you should buy if you ever try to do anything to your hair at home. If you would like to check out my hair care or my hair color line, everything is linked below. You can also head to xmodohair.com to check it all out. We have some new products being launched next week. Ooh. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagram pages and check out me on Instagram. If you want to check out more videos, here you go. Let's binge some videos, shall we? Let's hang out together more. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.